Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss multiplying and dividing functions. Operations of functions. Let f and g be functions. Their product, denoted by f times g, is the function defined by f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. Meaning, the product of the functions is denoted by f times g of x can be solved by multiplying the involved functions f of x and g of x. Let us have an example. Given the functions f of x equals 2x plus 4 and g of x equals 4x plus 6, find f times g of x. To solve for f times g of x, we have to multiply the two given functions f of x times g of x. What we need to do first is to substitute the given f of x and g of x to our formula. We will have 2x plus 4 times 4x plus 6. In multiplying two binomials, you can use the FOIL method. Using the FOIL method, we will multiply the first terms, the outer terms, the inner terms, and the last terms. Hence, in this equation, we will be multiplying 2x times 4x, which will be 8x squared, outer terms such as 2x times positive 6, which will give us positive 12x, Inner terms, 4 times 4x, positive 4 times positive 4x is positive 16x. And the last terms, positive 4 times positive 6, which is positive 24. From here, we can combine the similar terms. The similar terms are positive 12x and positive 16x. Then, we will just simply copy 8x squared and 24. Therefore, we will have 8x squared. Then, positive 12x plus positive 16x is positive 28x. And then, copy plus 24. Therefore, f times g of x is equal to 8x squared plus 28x plus 24. Let us have another example. Given the functions f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 and g of x equals x squared minus 3x minus 7, find f times g of x. To do that, we will substitute the given f of x and g of x to our formula, f of x times g of x. So we will have... 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 times x squared minus 3x minus 7. In multiplying two trinomials, we can do the horizontal method, wherein we multiply each term of the first function to the terms of the second function. So 2x squared times x squared is 2x raised to 4. 2x squared times negative 3x is negative 6x cubed. 2x squared times negative 7 is negative 14x squared. Do the same thing for positive 3x. Multiply it to the terms of the second function. So positive 3x times x squared is positive 3x cubed. Positive 3x times negative 3x is negative 9x squared. And positive 3x times negative 7 is negative 21x. Finally, multiply negative 1 to the terms of the second function. Negative 1 times x squared is negative x squared. 
negative 1 times negative 3x is positive 3x. And negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. From here, we can now combine similar terms. Since there is no other term that has x raised to 4 as its variable, then we can simply bring it down. Copy 2x raised to 4. Negative 6x cubed can be combined with positive 3x cubed. So, negative 6x cubed plus 3x cubed is equal to negative 3x cubed. Negative 14x squared can be combined with negative 9x squared and negative x squared. So, negative 14x squared minus 9x squared is equal to negative 23x squared minus another x squared is negative 24x squared. Then, we can combine negative 21x with positive 3x. So, negative 21 plus 3 is equal to negative 18x. And then finally, since there is no other constant term, we can simply copy plus 7. So, therefore, f times g of x is equal to 2x raised to 4 minus 3x cubed minus 24x squared minus 18x plus 7. Let us now go to dividing functions. Let f and g be functions. Their quotient denoted by f over g is the function defined by f over g of x equals f of x over g of x meaning the quotient of the functions is denoted by f over g of x can be solved by dividing the involved functions f of x over g of x for example given the functions f of x equals 2x plus 4 and g of x equals 4x plus 6 find f over g of x so once again by formula f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x so substitute the given f of x and g of x to our formula therefore we will have 2x plus 4 over 4x plus 6 observing the functions 2x plus 4 and 4x plus 6, we can express the numerator and the denominator in factored form such as the numerator will become 2 quantity x plus 2 and the denominator to be 2 quantity 2x plus 3. From here, we can cancel the common factor which is 2. Therefore, f over g of x is equal to, so once again, we can cancel it out because 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So finally, the answer will become x plus 2 over 2x plus 3. Let us have another example. Given the functions f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus 6 and g of x equals x squared minus 9, find f over g of x. In dividing functions, it is better to always express the numerator and denominator in factored form. So, to do that, let us substitute first the given functions to our formula. So, the given f of x is x squared plus 5x plus 6. And the given g of x is x squared minus 9. So, the factors of the numerator and the denominator are as follows. So, the factors of x squared plus 5x plus 6 is x plus 3 times x plus 2 while the factors of the denominator are x plus 3 times x 
minus 3. From here, we can easily see the common factor which is x plus 3. So we can cancel it because x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is equal to 1. Finally, f over g of x is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 3. As we end this discussion, remember that let f and g be functions. The product of the two functions is denoted by f times g of x can be solved by multiplying the two given functions f of x times g of x. On the other hand, the quotient of the two functions is denoted by f over g of x can be solved by dividing the two given functions f of x and g of x. I hope that you have understood the lesson and for the next video, we will discuss composition of functions. Thank you and see you on the next discussion.